السلام عليكم كل عام وانتم بخير day 29 of Ramadan it sounds like the calculators and the moon setters are going to be celebrating together so that makes tomorrow the last day of Eid for everyone excuse me the last day of Ramadan for everyone and Wednesday the first day of Eid Alhamdulillah so we have one last night of Tarawiyah the last Tarawiyah is tonight Assalamu alaikum, hmm. Okay, all right. So today, I, today I want to talk about reward because we are heading to the end of Ramadan. Tomorrow we'll talk about Eid, inshallah. But today I want to talk about reward. I want to continue the conversation that we've had because it is really an important part of where we are in our stage of 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 living Ramadan of living Ramadan let's start by thinking about the reward of Ramadan and everything that we do in Ramadan and why we do what we do in Ramadan and the different stages and levels and types of reward that we're getting and as we think about that i want you to really well, let's we'll do that together. So the first one, let's go all the way back to the beginning and remember that it is Ya Ayuhaladina Aminu. Kutiba alaykum usiyam kama kutiba ala ladina min kablikum la alakum tatakun. So at the first, at the front, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala asks us to fast and promised us a particular type of award or reward that goes with siyam, goes with fasting. And that is that we will grow in taqwa. So if you have been able to fast this month, now you're on 29 days, you've been able to fast this month, then you should feel confident that your taqwa has grown. And if you have not been able to fast this month, but you wanted to fast this month, and you were participating in Ramadan as a believer, you should also feel confident that your taqwa has grown. Because you didn't fast out of obedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If you didn't fast this month because you were distant and you weren't sure, and now just now you're doing tawbah, just now you're coming back, you can now repent and fast tomorrow to... We'll start and begin walking your path and growing your taqwa. So one of the awards that then of this month is to grow our taqwa. The second, or another deep one like this, is the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi called or named Ramadan Shahr uh, al-Sabr, the month of sabr. So it also means that we're learning sabr. So we're learning taqwa and we're learning sabr. Now, the Sabirin are the people who enter Jannah bi ghayr al-hisab. Ya Rabb, lutfak. The Sabirin are those who enter Jannah without being held to account. Ya Allah, can you imagine having that? I mean, when you start thinking about the Day of Judgment, we read in the Jizzi yesterday that it's a, it's a day of 50,000 years. Ya Latif, Ya Latif, to enter Jannah bi ghayr hisab is to grow our sabr and Ramadan, the Prophet said, is shahr sabr and so you have more patience than you had last week. You have more patience than you had when you entered into this month. You have more ability to keep going through difficulty. I mean, you've been working, you've been striving, even though you've been hungry, you've been thirsty. So your sabr has increased what else Ramadan also teaches us how to conquer our nafs so we are the one who we are the ones who are growing and working on this nafs Ramadan the Prophet ﷺ told us that the shaitan are in chains so we are left that means with our nafs and so we have 30 days of working on our nafs and so by the end of the month Either we perhaps have accomplished nafs al mutma'inna or we are working closer to it. So we can be of those who hear 
يا أيتها النفس المطمئنة ارجعي إلى ربك راضية مرضية يا رب آمين All of these are the rewards of, of Ramadan Rewards of Ramadan And remember that this series is Faith, a Love Story So as a series it talks about love I really want you to see how Ramadan is an act of love that was given to us The gift of Ramadan is a gift of love for us that we grow into the space of being beloved and being of those who love. So the third then is it teaches us how to, to conquer our nafs, teaches us how to be in charge of our nafs so that we are ever so much closer to being of those who hear, oh, oh, please, now, oh, mutma in the nafs, oh, serene and calm self enter into jannah enter into the garden enter amongst my servants enter my garden pleased and pleasing that we are pleased and we are pleasing Allah and we are pleased I want you just for a moment to think about how do you feel when you're so pleased when you're just full you don't have any complaints that's the nafs we're looking for, between us and Allah, to be in that space in Jannah when everything is perfect. That's the only place things are perfect, by the way. Okay, the second type of ibadah we did in Ramadan that has reward is tarawih. And the Prophet said, said Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Man qama Ramadan iman, imanan wa ihtisaban uh, ghafra lahu dhunubu. His sins are forgiven. The, his All of his previous sins are forgiven. So, the praying, the standing at night, the praying, the standing in Ramadan, there is reward. Now here we are in the end of the month. Can you imagine that your book that was smudged, that was filled with sin, that had all sorts of things in it that you were feeling embarrassed of, are possibly all erased? Ya Allah. Ya Allah. Ya Allah, imagine. Ya Rabbi. غَفَرَ لَهُ مَا تَقَدَّمَ مِنْ ذَنْبِهِ There is the right wording. Allah forgives all that that went before of your sins, of his sins. Ya Rabbi. So we've grown in taqwa. We've grown. I want This would be a positive thinking, okay? You don't say, well, I don't know if that's me. No. Did you participate in Ramadan? You participated. So you should say, I've grown in taqwa. I've grown in sabr. I've grown and sabr is that which helps me enter Jannah without being held to account. I've grown in my ability to conquer my nafs, and conquering my nafs helps me to have nafs al mutma'inna, which is the nafs that helps me to get into Jannah Radiyatan Mardiya. And if you prayed, you did the prayers, then Ya Allah, your previous sins are forgiven. So now here you are, clean book, clean, beautiful book, like the day you were born. So Allah, as you go forward, don't don't mess it up. Do you ever, are you a stationary sore people? I am such a stationary sore person. I have to stay away from them. I love stationary. I love notebooks. I love to have a million notebooks. I have a whole planner system. There's a planner stack. And I definitely I use it and I need to do it, but I also think it might be a secret love of these notebooks. So now you have a new one. You have a new beautiful notebook. And that first day of Eid, you're going to be ready with a pen, a good pen, a fountain pen to write good deeds on, but don't write an ugly permanent marker, don't write an ugly marker, don't write an ugly crayon, don't write in anything sin. We all make mistakes. Perfection isn't reachable in this dunya. But don't intentionally write sin. Take care of that book, just like you would take care of a beautiful, expensive notebook. Don't set it down just anywhere. What else do we do in Ramadan that brings us reward? Quran. We recite the Quran. The Prophet وسلم, said, the one who reads Quran, the Quran will come. Man yaqra fi 
Oh, hang on. No, that's something else. Um, Al-Siyam wal-Qiyam wal-Quran. Al-Siyam wal-Quran. Fasting and Quran. Yashfa'an lil-abdi yawm al-Qiyama. Our intercessors for the servants on the day of judgment. Their intercessors. Yaqulu Siyam, ay ya Rabb. Siyam says, oh my Lord. Man'atuhu al-ta'am wal-shahawat bin nahar. Fashafa'ani fi. I prevented him from eating and drinking and fulfilling his desires in the day. So granting, I intercede for him. The fasting is saying this. ويقول القرآن منعته النوم بالليل منعته النوم بالليل because we were reading Quran at night. يا الله فشفعني فيه قال الله سبحانه وتعالى says فيشفعان and so they have interceded. So another reward from this month is Quran will come and drag you to Jannah as your friend. Quran will be your friend. Also, the Prophet ﷺ said, "Iqra'u al-Quran, fa innu yati yom al-qiyama shafi'an li-ashabi." It will come on the day of judgment as an intercessor for its companion. Now, so that's another reward we've gotten in this month from the Quran, which is piling it up, piling it up. Allah Subhanahu wa Taala has given us so many opportunities in this month, so many opportunities. And maybe you're going to keep reading Quran now, inshallah. Here, if you're in Minnesota, uh, we are going to do a Thursday night recitation of Quran and a Thursday night uh, Qiyam. So stay tuned for that. They won't start right away, but they'll start pretty soon. Stay tuned. All right, what else do we do? We also did dhikr in this month. What did dhikr give us? What did dhikr give us of reward from this month? What did the kid give us? The Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam says, "Jaddidu imanukum, jaddidu imanukum, renew your faith." And the companion said, "Ya Rasulullah, how do we do that?" And he said, "Akthiru, akthiru min qawli la ilaha illa Allah. Akthiru." Increase the amount of times you say La ilaha illallah. We did that here at the RCC this month. We worked on that. La ilaha illallah. La ilaha illallah. La ilaha illallah. And so, another reward you got for this month is you renewed your faith. Imagine. Taqwa, sabr, conquering the nafs, forgiveness of sin, uh, intercessor on the day of judgment. And a renewed iman. A renewed iman. What else did we do this month? We made dua. We made a lot of dua. What is the reward of the fasting person in Ramadan when you make dua? Answer dua. So this year now, now you have to start looking. And I hope you said, Allahumma inni nas'aluk al-jannah. Ya Allah, we ask you for Jannah. When a'udhu bika min nar we seek refuge in you from hellfire. That is an important dua to be answered in this month. We are seeking that reward. So that's another thing we benefited from in this month. What else do we do this month? We send sadaqah. Yes, get so we send sadaqah. What did the Prophet say about that? They asked, Ya Rasulullah, Ya Rasulullah, Ayya sadaqa afdal, what sadaqa is the best? And the Prophet said, Sadaqa fi Ramadan. MashaAllah. Allah, the Muslims know this. And you guys, the Rabbitsa community knows this. MashaAllah, MashaAllah. Can I, I'm, I'm excited to tell you where we are in our fundraiser because we are super close, guys. We had a huge weekend. We had a huge weekend. So stay tuned for that. I'm excited to tell you. It's a beautiful hadith that I hold deeply in my heart, actually. That is, it says, Man fatara sa'iman fi Ramadan. The one who breaks someone's fast in Ramadan. So did you feel, I always, actually, this is a secret. 
Now you Minnesota people are going to know my secret. But the reason, one of the reasons, all of my life in Syria, I used to do Taftir Siyam. I used to do it not just for the poor. I would do it for the for my friends, for those who are busy, for my in-laws. I tried to do it for everybody. And here when I came to Minnesota, it was hard because I didn't really know who to do it for. I mean, you know, you can do your family and this and that. But, like, I wanted to do it for more people. And I got the idea last year or the year before, two years ago, to do an iftar with Minnesota food where I make old-fashioned Minnesota food, hot dishes, um, snicker salad, pistachio fluff, <laughs> tater tot hot dish, hamburger hot dish, all that kind of stuff. And then we invite people. The first year I thought we'd get 20. We had almost 100. This year I think we had 150 people, mashallah. And so I'm super excited about that because of this hadith. Man fatara sa'iman, even just one, who, who breaks the fast of just one person, in Ramadan, with halal money, with something that is halal, okay? Sallit alayhi al malaika layali Ramadan kulluha. The angels pray for her or him every night in Ramadan. And I'm not done. وَصَافَحَهُ جِبْرِيلْ لَيْلَةُ الْقَدْرِ And Jibreel shakes your hand لَيْلَةُ الْقَدْرِ وَمَنْ صَافَحَهُ جِبْرِيلْ How do I know if Angel Jibreel has shaken my hand? تَكْثُرُ دُمُوعَهُ وَيَرَقْ قَلْبَهُ You have increased tears and your heart softens. I love it. Talk about reward. What does Allah gives us? Not only in next life, in this life. The most beautiful of things. The most beautiful of things. And tomorrow we'll talk about how you can get your the angel, how we got our how we how we get our angels to shake our hands on the day of Eid. But imagine all these beautiful things. All of the sadaqa of this month, the hard work of this month of people's giving, it's coming back to us. It's coming back to us. Dunya o akhirah. In reward, especially Ramadan, because it's the best time to give. The Prophet said himself. And we have one more day of that. I have to remind myself, we have one more day of that. SubhanAllah. All right, what else do we do in Ramadan? We do Atikaf. We do Atikaf. Now listen to the reward for this. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Men, Atikaf Ashran fi Ramadan. كَانَ كَحَجَّتَيْنِ وَعَمْرَتَيْنِ عمرتين. To the one who does اعتكاف in the last 10 days of Ramadan, it's equal to two hajjas and two umras. So, again, more and more and more bounty. I don't know what to call it. Bounty for Muslims in this month. Whatever you're able to do, you're getting stuff. You're getting stuff. Can you imagine the reward of Hajj and Umrah? <laughs> Twice? Two each? Ya Allah, we should be feeling loved. We should feel loved with all of this blessing and bounty. There's still more. What about Ahya Laylatul Qadr? The praying in Laylatul Qadr. Laylatul Qadr khayrun min alfi shahr. Better than a thousand months. Salamun hiya hatta matla al fajr. Do you know that a thousand months is equal to 83 years? So, all of this, all of this is part of the love story of faith that brings us the best reward. And here in this jizit that we read today, we read so many things to talk about in the jizit. It was hard for me to just focus, but I wanted to focus here today. So, Fahuwa fi aishatir radiya. They, the believers, will be in a life of bliss. Radia. Bliss. How do, you, how do you define bliss? No pain, no worry, no sorrow, no jealousy, no anger. Bliss. Fulfillment of every whim or desire. Fi jannatin aliyah. In an elevated jannah garden. قُطُوفُهَا دَانِيَةً If you want to eat a piece of fruit, it's not, you don't have to climb a ladder. You just reach up. It's hanging ready for you. 
something that is beautiful and easily accessible. And maybe you're not a big fruit fan, but the fruit in Jannah is going to be better than cake. Way better. كُلُوا وَاشْرَبُوا هَنِيئًا بِمَا أَسْلَفْتُمْ فِي الْأَيَّامِ الْخَالِيَةِ They will be told, eat and drink joyfully. Eat and drink joyfully for what you did in the days gone by. So we just went through all the days of Ramadan. We identified only some of the reward that has been told of us of the things that we do in this blessed month. And we see in this jizat that the enter into Jannah and the pleasures of Jannah are related to the deeds that we've done. Now, we want to mention three things of Jannah we haven't mentioned yet. And some one of you messaged me and said, you didn't mention the whole, most important stuff about Jannah. So I actually had two days to talk about Jannah, so here's day two. The most, the thing of Jannah, after all of this, what are we hoping for in Jannah the most? Number one, in Jannah, we have freedom from anxiety, freedom from depression, freedom from trauma, freedom from generational trauma, freedom from racism, freedom from war, freedom from loss, freedom from grief, freedom from loneliness. Freedom from from gossip, freedom from internal noise, freedom from internal struggle. لا يسمعون فيها لغوا ولا تأثيما إلا قيلا سلاما سلاما. Only beautiful words that make you happy in Jannah. Only beautiful words that make you happy in Jannah. Subhanallah. لا خوف عليكم ولا أنتم تحزنون in Jannah no fear no grief أدخلوا Jannah لا خوف عليكم ولا أنتم تحزنون go into Jannah there's no grief there's no sadness there's no fear there's no trauma there's no anxiety there's no worry we can't even imagine a world like that that's Jannah that's what we're hoping for that's what we're working for Allah's pleasure. Another blessing of Jannah is to reunite with the people you loved here that you're longing to see again. I don't know the there's a song that um, when my teacher died, someone sang for me, and it's a beautiful song. And it's a song about what will it be like to meet you again in Jannah. And every time I think about that song, I'm I'm I have to work harder so that I can do that. Because that is what a beautiful reward from uh, the one who loves us the most, Allah. And finally, the the greatest reward of Jannah, that, and these of these things, none of these can be attained in this dunya. The greatest reward is to gaze upon the beatific vision of Allah Azza wa Jal. And what and what in, and what will that be for us? Can we even imagine what that will be for us? I don't know. Alhamdulillah for Ramadan. Alhamdulillah for all the reward we got in Ramadan. Alhamdulillah for all the reward you got in Ramadan. Alhamdulillah for the growth you've done in Ramadan. Alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah. May Allah answer your dua and continue to grow you all. And if you are, you know, these lives have been, meant something to you, you can take a class with me. I teach a lot of classes at Ribat, registration.ribat registration.rabata.org I teach a lot of classes I'm going to be teaching a short course in the spring I'm going to be teaching summer classes one of them is women on the front lines in Sierra I'm super excited about that and I teach a lot of classes you can join me next fall as well it has been suggested to me to continue these lives and I am considering it my schedule is super busy so I'm maybe once a month instead of every week we'll see but um if you want to be with me on a weekly basis, take a class with me at Ribat. 
If you want to take a class with me, I also teach at TISA. Uh, all their bot classes are only for women. So if you are uh, not a woman, then you can take a class with me at TISA. Um, or if you're a woman, you also can take a class there. I also am available. We have a Patreon uh, at Rabota. And so when I do local halakas here, we will be recording them and putting them up on Patreon. That will start soon. And we, any other, when I speak at Qiyam, you can also, um, when I speak at Qiyam, you can also see that on Patreon. You can join us at the Rabota Masjid and take advantage of those online, that online programming that was only link only. It's all free programming, but it's link only. You have to have access to the link through registration. Yeah, and of course, come and see me and visit me at the RCC. Are you ready for the big announcement? Alhamdulillah. So after a huge weekend of amazing matches, amazing jumps in the numbers of monthly donors, amazing numbers, amazing direct donations, amazing pledges, we are right now today, we have crossed over the $700,000 line. We crossed over, and guess what else? We, one of our beautiful donors, may Allah reward her. She's just, she's a, she's a closer. She loves us to close that. She swept in and she said, I will match $25,000. So if we match her $25,000, you know what that will mean? It will mean we reach our goal. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. We have already reached our monthly donor goal and gone way beyond it. So thank you for that. Let's get in there with the direct donations and let's reach the $25,000. You can also do a pledge. If, it, if you're at the end of your money right now, you can do a pledge and it will still be matched. But let's go in and get it done. Let's get it done. Let's try to reach $25,000 so she can match it. So we can reach the $750,000. I'm just, I did sujood shukr already. Just overwhelmed by the beauty of it all. And Allah's blessing. Ameen. May Allah use us in this work. May Allah use us in this work. Ya Rabbil Alameen. Ya Rabb. And let this work. I feel, uh, Ansar Aghad Sayyid said, I feel like we're adults now. Because <laughs> we have this big fundraiser. Like we've always had smaller fundraisers. And you guys stood up and you guys helped us. And some of you came forth with incredible matches. Some of you came forth with incredible amounts of support. In fi financially, in dua, in just your love too, and just showing up for this and for Ahya and for Tarawiyah and for the Iftars and for everything. It's been a beautiful month of Ramadan. I've learned a lot this month. Um, I hope that means that I've grown and I hope you have too. Last day tomorrow, I'll see you. I hope to come tomorrow and tell you we matched the 25. Inshallah. Let's, I, I believe the match is open until the Eid prayer. I'm not sure. I have to double check with Afsha. But um, yeah, congratulations, everyone. One more match. One more match. We've got this. We've got this one more match. We can do this. I feel like we can do it. We, the, the, the match was a surprise. It was not a planned match. So yes, it does, Sakina, go to how much everyone loves her. It, it, it actually gives me that warm feeling of, that people's people are being touched. I, I'm making a lot of dua to that we are of those who help people and we don't harm anyone. That we are of those who grow people and don't shrink anyone. That we are of those who help people and and pull them along and help them get into Jannah and never ever the opposite. Ya Rabbi. What is the info to join Patreon? Um, Margot, do you have that? I think Margot's are. Who has that information, I wonder? Because on Patreon, we do have the more private uh, things that you can have to, available to watch at your leisure. I'll wait for um, Margot to let us know how to sign up for the Patreon. And tomorrow, we'll talk about the Eid, guys. Well, we haven't met it yet. Mama Yabamia. Mama Yabamia. <laughs> So help us meet it. We're almost there. Thank you, Margot. Patreon.com forward slash Shabbatah to sign up for our Patreon. But uh, we're almost there. Like, we can smell it. It's there. It's, we can smell it. Just we have to make sure to, to get it done, inshallah. We're almost there, though. I feel it, too. I feel like, yeah. I feel like, yeah, we, we made it, inshallah. Alhamdulillah.
Alhamdulillah. All right. Thank you, everyone. I'll see you tomorrow uh, for our last Ramadan live. And we will talk about what to do for Eid, how to have fun on Eid, how to be joyful on Eid, and what to do to protect yourself from shaitan, the returning of shaitan, min al-jinnati, nas. Also tomorrow, quick announcement. We have, if you are a member of the Robots of Masjid, online masjid, if you are not, you can sign up today, as long as you are a woman. Um, you look in your inbox tomorrow for the link to come to the masjid. We have the noon uh, slow reading of Jizat 30, the last one. And after that, we have the, the dua that we do. So the dua where you get to put in the duas that you want. We're all going to be making so much dua, and I don't, we have stories of how powerful that dua is. So I encourage you to participate if you're able to. So there we go, rebelsit.org forward slash masjid to sign up to receive the link in your email. And yeah, thanks everybody. May Allah reward you all. And help us move forward in taqwa, in sabr, in conquering the nafs, in forgiveness, in shafa'a, in a new clean book, answered dua, hajj and umrah, all of the reward of Ramadan, and jannah, jannah al-firdaus, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum.